All right, everyone, welcome to my driving video of this very nice 2009 Jeep Liberty Limited. Um, we're gonna take this for a drive in the city and on the freeway, like I like to do to demonstrate both conditions. Um, there's a whole nother video about this Jeep on my channel. If you'd like to see it, outside, inside, engine compartment, all around it, talking about the features and things, uh, take a look at that. Uh, real quick, we're gonna stop here and demonstrate the four-wheel drive. So this doesn't have a four-wheel drive high setting, but you can put it in four-wheel drive auto, but that the light comes on, as you can see on the dash right there, um, by the uh, miles, but, it, if I turn, because it's not, it doesn't detect any wheel slippage, um, it's not It's not going to drive any differently than normal. So I wanted to at least demonstrate the four-wheel drive low for you. So I'm gonna put it in neutral, click it down to four-wheel drive low, it beeps, it tells us that we're in four-wheel drive low and turns off the traction control, put it back in drive, you can, here. That's that's four wheel drive right there. They can hear the tires gripping the pavement. And you can hear it pulling, so very low end, low end torque. So that demonstrates that it is working correctly. So go back to neutral, go back to two wheel drive, electronic transfer case switches, back in drive, and now we're back to normal driving mode. <clears throat> So this is a very nice Jeep. The mileage is very reasonable at 127,000 miles. As I mentioned on the previous other video, that should be right next door to this one on my channel. The previous owner had this Jeep uh, for six years, since 2015, when it had 70,000 miles. So from 70,000 miles until current, um, it's been well cared for has a lot of new parts here recently. It has very, very nice tires that are closer to new than old. Uh, I just had brand new brakes and rotors put on all the way around. So it has all brand new brakes and rotors, a new caliper on the left rear, a uh, new serpentine belt, fresh oil, uh, new rear shocks in the back. So an even better ride with some new rear shocks and also had a complete tune-up with new spark plugs, new spark plug wires, and new coils. So, many, many new parts. It is good to go, it's ready to drive, it shouldn't need, shouldn't need anything, there's a Wrangler. Shouldn't need anything for a while. So, this is a limited 3.7 liter six cylinder this is well equipped with leather, heated seats, infinity sound system, remote start. I demonstrated the remote start in my other video. You can see the steering wheel is done nice and straight. Steering wheel drive, uh, the steering wheel stays straight, it drives straight. <clears throat> There's no abrupt pulling or anything weird. The brakes are obviously perfect because they're brand new. They're nice and tight and strong.
There's a Liberty Jet. Ah, didn't get it. That was a special model of the Liberty that's also probably the only thing that's cooler than a Limited is a Liberty, Liberty Jet. You can tell because they have dark headlights in the front. It's kind of cool and they have different styled wheels that are also chrome, but the wheels on this one are a, definitely a very good looking chrome wheel as well. Jeeps everywhere. Uh, I will demonstrate the cruise control when we get out on the freeway. If you continue watching or fast forward a little bit, we will be out on the freeway. Cruise control works. Everything works on this car. All of the features and functions and buttons and power features, air conditioning, Everything works like it should. Except the Skyview sunroof. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pause this right here and if you continue watching, we will be on the freeway <clears throat> as soon as I resume. Thanks for watching, stay tuned. Continue with a freeway drive.
<coughs> I'm gonna get off here and turn around and go back the same way we just came. So you can continue watching or you can stop watching, whatever you like, but we're gonna go right back the same way we just came and that's going to conclude the driving of the Jeep video. That's about the end of the driving I normally do. I appreciate you watching all the way through if you have. I appreciate your watching in general and the subscriptions to my channel and comments and suggestions and feedback. Um, I think it's very cool how people like to watch the stuff that I make even if they're not particularly interested in the car that I'm advertising at the time or just to comment about ones that they had and how well they liked them or what they didn't like. So thanks for that. Thanks for your comments and suggestions. And we will catch you on the next one. And thanks for watching. Great Jeep here. Let me know if you have any any come any questions or any questions about it at all sorry just watching the traffic light uh thanks again for watching bye bye